today we're going to be talking about routines and setting routines to help you simplify things, make things easier and make things a little bit more fun. And I've got my usual five ideas on routines. Five different routines I think are really useful to develop. So let's talk about routine number one. And routine number one is the morning routine. Having a routine for you in the morning. Now, a lot of people already do that. Some people have miracle mornings or they have an hour of power or they have whatever they call their morning routine. But I would suggest you keep to a morning routine and build into your routine um, things that and give you energy that maybe motivate you, they give you ideas and just things to get your day starting well and that's up to you. My suggestion is if you are going to start a morning routine, start small. Don't start big. Don't have this big list of 84 things that you're going to get done in five minutes. Just start small. And I'll give you an idea of one of my morning routines. One of my morning routines is go walking. So I have my and I talked about this in our last session I have my my things ready in the morning in fact what I've started doing which has been really great I actually now have a pile of clothes that I go walking in all stacked up for the week so they're just in a pile so I literally grab socks shirt pants etc boom all in one place one grab and I put them into little plastic bags I know that sounds ridiculous but it's so easy so easy done and it can be done you know uh, ready to go so I go for a walk that's the start of my routine if I don't do my walk that's okay I'll do it another time but I try and do that walk uh, um, as much as I can and as I've said before I'm trying to do a million steps before the end of the year and it's going really really well so what else do I have in my morning routine well then when I get back and have a shower etc I have a routine of putting the coffee on emptying the dishwasher quick tidy around the kitchen pint of water drunk you know I've got my always my water on the go and I do that and then I come upstairs into my office where my office currently is and I have a bit of a routine to start the day and this is what I do I put something motivational on so I'm hearing something but what I do I plan I read and I write for about 15 minutes each so plan that doesn't take that long actually I read and I write um, and so what do I read well I, I have a choice I you know I've got some magazines that um, some articles that I want to read or um, you know I'll read 20 pages of a book or something like that but what I don't do is I don't watch the internet I don't look at a screen I'm reading from a book and I don't actually use my Kindle either I, I'm using books I've got a lot of books and I've decided I either read them or do something with them so I've decided I'm going to read them and then give them away or put charity or whatever. So, um, yeah, so that's what I do. So what's the writing? Well, I write my thoughts down for the day. I write down um, some, maybe a, I write an article, maybe write a newsletter. But I do at least do some writing. And again, I do that in a pad. I don't do that on screen because my morning routine, I can do it anywhere while I'm having my cup of coffee. Do it in the garden, which is quite nice. Or I can do it in a different place than the office. And then the last thing I do is planning, planning for the day. Now, I've already done some of this because I have a nighttime routine where I talk about what my tasks are for the next day. But I do planning and I look at my day and I put what's on my five to do lists into my diary, I actually schedule them in as tasks. Um, I look at the meetings that I have and I start to prepare myself and think, how could I make this meeting far more efficient, get my notes ready for things. And then I plan my day and then I start to set my timers and I use Pomodoro's. I haven't got time to talk about Pomodoro's today, but I use half an hour time blocks and then I get on with my day. That's my morning routine. Number two, evening routine. So why is an evening routine important? Well, an evening routine is important because A, it closes off your day. Secondly, it gives you a chance to sit back and celebrate and celebrate how wonderful things are. And I know things are tough at times and I know things go wrong and go bad. But there's always a moment when you can just go, you know what? It was a busy day or it was a difficult day or it was a fabulous day. And I learned this and I did this and I had the opportunity to meet these people. It's just a way of celebrating. And also, of course, an evening routine helps you set up for the next day. 
So what do I do in my evening routine? Well, I have the three, two, one approach. You don't know if you've heard of the three, two, one approach. It doesn't always work like this because a lot of the strategies that I talk about on a Sunday here or in the, or wherever you're watching me now, um, you know, it's a goal, it's an idea. It doesn't always go like this, but I don't eat three hours before I go to bed. I certainly don't work two hours before to go to bed. And my one hour is where I start to really wind down. So I try and get away from screens. The lights go lower. I don't, I don't drink anything except water. And I just try and have that routine. So three, two, one, which is um, don't eat for three hours before, don't work for two hours, and one hour just calming down. And sometimes it's great just to go in the bedroom and just sit in the bedroom and just relax or just, you know, chill and have a read a book or whatever. So that's my evening routine. Um, there's a couple of other things in that routine is that I, I have a rule where I never leave any dishes in the in the sink. Uh, so you always do your dishes. Always do your dishes before you go to bed. Um, what else? I've got on my list here. I've got a little list here. I get ready for the morning and have everything. You know that thing when your mum used to say to you, make sure you pack your school bag the day before? Yep. Yeah. Make sure you pack your school bag and get things ready and get that sleep environment right. You know, I like to I like to sleep in a cool room, so I make sure the room is cool. I've just thought I missed something from my morning routine, and that is make your bed. Make your bed. Yeah, when you get up, make your bed. First thing you do, make your bed. Get out of bed, make your bed quickly. Get get out of bed. And again, on the internet, have a look at. Um, there's a great speech by a, I think I think a U.S. Navy officer when he was finishing is, is sort of his last speech that they do as a tradition and if you a navy seal i think and if you put a navy seal make my bed speech it'll come up on the internet so that's the evening routine number three routine the idea is what about a cleaning routine a decluttering routine that's a great routine to get going that's a great routine to have a strategy for so on a daily basis what you clean and tidy up on a weekly basis on a monthly basis and on a yearly basis and I know this sounds a bit anal, doesn't it? Oh, St Steve's talking about lists and routines for cleaning. Isn't that blooming obvious? Well, sometimes it isn't. And this is what I suggest you do. Grab a piece of paper and write, if you were to keep your house clean, tidy, and your office clean, tidy, and declutter free, because we all know, even though a messy desk is a sign of something mind or whatever, and those things that people say we all know when we live without clutter or when we have tidy around us it helps us and I know some people struggle some people struggle with objects what they keep what they don't keep where they put them etc and little small steps start with a cupboard you know a small drawer and you go on and move on and we we've talked about decluttering but I'm generally talking about cleaning so list the things that you if you did on a daily basis what would it make your life easier on a weekly basis, what would it make your life easier? On a monthly basis, and then on the six monthly basis. And make a list and just use that as a checklist. And that's one of the things we talked about in another session, didn't we? About checklists and how you can use checklists. So number three is to establish a cleaning routine. The last two. The last two are really, really, really important. And I suppose we should have started with these two first. Number four routine is gratitude. Do you have a gratitude routine? Now you may, I used to think, oh, this gratitude idea, all these self-help gurus are talking about gratitude and the gratitude journal and all this. And I used to think, what a waste of time. You know what? I've been doing this now for probably about three years um, where I've really just every day just said, had a moment in time and said on what I'm grateful for. And how I do it is I simply, have it set automating right automation i have it set on my phone and a little uh, timer comes on and i can say hey siri add to my gratitude list sunflowers and i've switched it off by the way so it doesn't disturb us now but that will simply add to a list which i have in my apple phone and other ways there are other ways of doing it uh, it'll add sunflowers and I can look at that gratitude list and go, oh, I was grateful for some flowers. And then it'll evoke a memory, which is absolutely brilliant. And you can be you can be you can be grateful for anything. Grateful for this pencil. Grateful how someone invented this wonderful thing. 
and even improved it even more and they put a rubber on the end of it. I love pencils with rubbers on the end. If anybody wants to buy me a, 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 a present, that's a good present to buy. Now, I don't, I don't want presents, it's fine. But <laughs> get yourself a, you know, a good old pencil. And why am I grateful for it? Well, you know, you can write things with it, you can draw, you can outline things, you can talk about it just off the cuff like that. You know, I'm grateful for um, Eric, the, Eric, there's Eric, the time management monkey. And I'm grateful for him because he sits behind me and reminds me to like and love things. And you can see that there, like and love things there. And he reminded me every time that it's okay and it's got to be, make it fun. That's a big thing at the moment. Make it fun for me. I think that's a, a, an idea that keeps coming back. And, you know, love what you do. So he reminds me, so I'm grateful for Eric, the monkey. So, you know, gratitude is a wonderful emotion to keep building as a habit and have that for tip number four for routines in gratitude and then my last one which again i should have done at the start but number five is your self-care routine are you looking at after yourself are you putting your own mask on first you know they say in the airlines don't they only get in the plane if the plane gets into trouble put your own mask on first because you can't help anybody else if you've not got your own mask on do you have a bit of a self-care routine? Do you have a time in your day when you just go, do you know what? I'm evoking the self-care routine. Um, I'm doing my SCR, my self-care routine now. And that could be putting the kettle on. It could be going for a mindful walk, walking mindfully around the block. I sometimes do that. I sometimes when I've had a bit of a get a bit of a block or I get a bit of frustration or I just start to procrastinate and start to go on the old YouTube videos and I just go right come on Steve get up get out so I get up and I literally walk around the block where our house is or when I'm at work I can walk around the space there and I have 10 minutes of mindful walking and mindful walking is not anything special it simply is just walking with purpose it's taking one step at a time just trying to focus on what's immediately in front of you not focusing on what's behind, just what's on front of you, one step at a time, and just do some mindful walking. I don't put any music on, I just enjoy the walk. And I look at things and I notice things, you know. Go for a walk today, for example, and notice 10 things that you haven't noticed before. And play a little game like that. Self-care routine could be having a bath. It could be sitting in the bath with a nice glass of wine or a book or a candle. Some people do that, don't they? Self-care routine, some people like to do Lego and puzzles. Do you have that little routine where you can build up, um, you know, some self-care?